you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. It is Monday, okay? And we are in Miami, first Monday. Honestly, I'm just picking up where I left off and wow, she is so sweaty, it's unreal. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. Since I moved to Miami, I have not had a workout in. It's only been two days, but I am like someone, I was like very anxious and sad and stressed about this move. And honestly, once I started to work out, it all went away. I felt so good. I feel like you guys are crooked. Let me fix that, there we go. I felt so good. I was listening to Eminem. I was listening to Britney Spears, Work Bitch, that song. Excuse the language, but that's the song. So good. I love what it stands for, because you gotta work, you gotta work to get it. But um, yeah, did leg day, then I did some sprints, ran a mile, and did uh, incline, just walk after. So it's my apartment gym. I like the gym. It has everything I want. The floor is weird. It's orange, but like, I'm, I'm not vain about a gym, okay? I'm down to do whatever. As long as it has the equipment, I love it. But I was so dang spoiled in Huntington that I'm like, Meow. So if anybody has recommendations on gyms that make you feel like a badass and brickle, once again, excuse language, let me know because working out is my safe haven and I would love to find a gym that makes me feel like super empowered and just like, you know, it's all dark and angsty and I love it. Um, but honestly, I love this gym too. I just think it'd be kind of fun to work out somewhere else and also meet like-minded people. A lot of you guys are asking how the heck do I meet people in a new city? That's one of them. I can go over it in a YouTube video if you guys want me to, but a big thing is going to places that your hobbies are. So I love to meet like-minded people, especially at the gym. They're my kinds of peeps. And yeah, so if you have any recommendations for a gym, let me know. But I figured let's get this vlog started. It's gonna be like a grocery haul. We're gonna cook in the apartment. Um, yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes, but we have like zero food basically. So Michael and I are gonna walk to Whole Foods because we have no car and try and like kind of meal prep through the week. So figured I'd take you along with me. That being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get started. First things first, I'm wearing the camo sports bra. I've been wearing it all day. This sports bra is like a crop top. See how long it is? Honestly, I wear it like with sweats and a jacket um, for like athleisure and then I just didn't want to take it off so I worked out in it. Then I'm wearing the Hyper Amplify Seamless Pants. I love the shorts but I also love the leggings. I think they're great for leg day. I didn't really want to wear shorts on my first leg day when I'm not comfortable in the area, you know? So, always recommend good leggings. But this really nice man let me into this like, 
it's like a Pilates room. Um, I was trying to get in, I didn't know how to fob it, and he was like, mm, you must be new. And I was like, mm, you're not wrong. But it's beautiful, look at this. And there's two of them, and there's this really cute mirror as well. And guys, as a fitness influencer, you want a good mirror. You want some good mirror lighting, because we have no mirrors in our apartment at the moment, because we're moving. I have no furniture in the apartment besides bed. It's no lie. Things you do when you move cross country. But figured this is where I'm gonna film a lot of my workouts for Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go check it out. I post a ton of free workouts there. I also have a fitness program. I'll be filming in here for my fitness program as well. That's a $20 a month, like monthly program where you get five workouts a week. Shameless plug, but I love my program gals. I really feel like I get to know them. But yeah. Then we have the gorgeous view of the water because we're just, surrounded wow it's so dark surrounded by water here and it's it's beautiful honestly it's been great so far Bentley's adjusting well Michael and I are adjusting well but like seriously guys come on it doesn't get much better than this all right we're in the midst of the city Whole Foods and we found a Marshalls for town we got Bentley a toy. Oh, sit, sit. You live in the land of turtles now. There you go. Oh. Okay. Quick little Whole Foods run, and I think there's another market near us, but we wanted to start with Whole Foods. We got two Asian salad mixes. Just because we we don't have too much right now, we're still waiting for the movers to even bring like pots and pans. So we figured we'd kind of like group meals. So this one, belly. Go lay down, sir. We got cheese, tortillas, and this is really cool. It was like Key West pink shrimp fajitas. So we got salsa with that, and we'll probably pair it with salad. Then we also got lettuce, just in general. Maybe put it in the tacos. Strawberries to munch on, avocados, tomatoes. Uh, we got dates, some Ziploc bags, bananas, dish soap, normal soap. Bentley's Fresh Pet, and then another meal are these cool kebabs. So Michael got steak and I got chicken. And then lastly, I got red pepper hummus because we have multi-green chips from Costco. All right, Pam, it's next day. I don't even know what I'm dressed like. Like, I am just a hot mess today. Michael's like, babe, how are you gonna make friends when you look like slop? And I'm like, I don't know. Honestly, I have the worst allergies today, so I'm heading to get a juice, and then we're gonna fill these puppies. Okay, it's been a few hours, and I've been horrible at vlogging, but could not get a nail salon to take me, so I'm going tomorrow. Got like a ginger shot and a green juice, and then Michael, ordered takeout, pokey. So I ran down to the gym while it was getting delivered. And honestly, I was not feeling the gym today. It's not feeling the best. Went for 20 minutes, and now I'm gonna dive in to pokey. But at least I'm like instilling the habit of going to a gym. I feel like that's really important whether you get back from vacation, you move somewhere new, like you're out of your space. Instill that habit again. I promise you it'll pay off. Went for 20 minutes and it felt good just to at least get there, you know? But Michael and I are gonna munch on this and then we can chat later. All right, we're home. It is 7.43. I feel like evenings go by really. It goes by very quickly here. But we went for a long, nice walk and the sun is setting. Let's see if you can see. I mean, it doesn't set over the water like, like the West Coast. So just kind of slowly getting dark. But we went and had a nice kind of like shake from Joe the Juice. It was like a banana chocolate date shake. The things we love. Sir Benton's gonna get his dinner and we're gonna put together our bedside tables. Fun fact, in Huntington we didn't, we never had bedside tables. It was like a janky table from Ikea and then like a leftover coffee table I had. So proud that we're finally making it aesthetic.
Ta-da! It's a start! Good morning, family. Can you hear how echoey it is in this apartment? Michael and I talked to the movers yesterday. One, movers always lie, never trust them. Michael was like, oh, we'll be without you know our stuff five days tops. And I was like, I don't know what rock you're living under, but I've heard horror stories about movers. It takes like five days to even come here. And they have to like load it up, there's other people, all that jazz. So called them and they're like, oh yeah, it's in Nevada. And they won't actually have it going to Florida until next week. So, which we can be patient. Michael ordered himself a desk chair. I ordered a table that's coming next Friday. And no idea when our couch comes. So for now, we're chilling in an empty apartment. But you know what? We got a bed and we got bedside tables. And boy, am I happy that we have a bedside table. I don't know why it's my pet peeve not to have a bedside table. Okay, like something to place your water bottle on. I, but I slept in this morning. I'm just still kind of adjusting to the time. Michael said he got up at five o'clock, he meditated outside, and then he made himself a cup of coffee. And I remember waking up at seven and I was like, why did you just make coffee? Well, did I know he had been up for hours. Oh, oh, oh. I just got some belly hair in my iced coffee. Literally popped a squat on my iced coffee. So, we don't have any other mugs. So I went and picked up some iced coffee at the store yesterday and put some oat milk, we're good to go. <laughs> but about to go get my nails done. I booked an appointment for 10 o'clock and I'm pretty stoked because these have been like over a month. I'm, I'm blabbing, but I'm just updating on my life, guys. And I feel like a lot of people, I've been getting a lot of messages in general of people being like, how the heck are you doing this? How are you moving? Is this hard? Like, do you miss your friends? Do you miss Huntington? And 100% I do. Like it is hitting me. I go through waves where I'm sad and I just want you to know that's normal. Um, if you do decide to do something like this and keep growing and want to experience new things because I've always wanted to live all over the world but I got in my comfort zone with Huntington and I love my friends there and I'm going to miss them so much but they will visit me. I'll visit them. I'm still going to be in California. I'll still fly over there. Um, I have a wedding in August that I'll be there for. But overall, it gets better. You meet more friends. I'm getting girls DMing me, being like, let's hang out. And I'm like, absolutely. I love to meet new people. Um, I'm just trying to get situated before I can do all of that because your girl's a mess here, has no furniture. Yeah, so if you're feeling that way, if you've moved anywhere new um, and you're having trouble making friends or it doesn't feel like home yet, be patient, be patient with the process because it's only been three days and I'm incredibly impatient. I'm like, why don't I have friends yet? And where's my furniture and my spots to go to? Like I tried to find a juice bar yesterday and I spent like 20 minutes walking around. Like, you know, you just gotta get acclimated. You gotta get used to everything. All right, fam, got myself a tea from Starbucks and I'm walking to the nail salon. So, no idea what we're gonna do, but we'll wrap up this vlog when I reveal the new nails. All right, we are done. And I just did a classic Manny. What, what would that be, like a uh, French? Oh my, the song. The city life, am I right? <laughs> Um, but did the classic, figured I'd wrap up this vlog. Let me know if you like these. Let me know if you want me to keep doing Miami vlogs. If so, I will. But fitness content will resume shortly. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you next time.